Hey Maximizers and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal and this is my, I typically do weekly hauls bi-weekly. So this is my grocery haul. Side note, I have not gone grocery shopping in a long time, like a big grocery shopping haul. So today is it. We are gonna be going to Aldi's and we're gonna be going to Walmart. The reason why we're starting at home is because I wanna start you guys all the way back with my meal plan with my grocery list and then I'm even gonna write down my budget for you guys okay so if you're interested in seeing this grocery haul everything I get from all these and Walmart just keep on watching all right so I talk about this in any of my videos where I talk about saving for groceries creating a budget anything like that you always have to start with a plan I suggest starting with a monthly meal plan and break it up into weekly so I only did mine weekly because Kinsley and I have been living on whatever's available in the fridge I have been eating out more than I am happy welcome or comfortable with saying or doing um, so I just did a meal plan you can see it started on Tuesday um, because we were at Disney on Monday so Tuesday we ate a DiGiorno pizza tonight which is Wednesday I want to make chicken and shrimp Alfredo Thursday we're gonna have leftovers Friday and Saturday we're gonna have sausage and beans um, and then whatever else we just want to snack on any leftovers and then on the Sunday I want to make some more fried chicken um, kale and mashed potatoes now the only thing you won't see on my grocery haul is gonna be the kale and mashed potatoes because it is Wednesday and I want to make that on Sunday so I will most likely stop by the store literally just to pick up kale and mashed potatoes on Saturday or even when I'm out couponing on Sunday I may pick them up because I do have a, a Publix and a Walmart nearby the reason why I'm not getting those is because those are fresh ingredients and I don't like to have potatoes or kale sit because that would sit like five days in the fridge and I don't want to freeze the kale just to unthaw it so long story short those two things are super fresh so I'm going to wait to get those so what I do first is I make my weekly or my monthly meal plan we're just gonna do a week for now because we are just out of so many staples so we're gonna do weekly this is our grocery list now I didn't put it on here because what I didn't realize this thing is cute but this is not perforated so I can't take it with me and I had already started this master grocery list on my refrigerator so I have these really nice monthly uh, magnetic lists and I leave it on the fridge so whenever we need something like if we're out of something or I'm thinking about doing something for dinner I will just write it down here so I've looked through most of these things and there's really no coupons that I can see the only deal that there may have been a cheese deal at Publix, but you know what? I'm just going to go to Aldi's and we're going to get as much stuff as we can get from Aldi's. And then whatever we can't get from Aldi's, we will get from Walmart um, for groceries. Okay. Now, this is a combination of stuff I need to make dinner um, this week and then things that we're just out of staples. So like kitty litter, we're completely out. Uh, we're almost out of Old Bay. Um, I want smoked turkey for my kale, so I want to start being on the hunt looking for that now. We're completely out of ketchup. We are almost out of syrup. We're almost out of butter. We are completely out of vegetable oil. So these are things I usually never run out of, but because I haven't been grocery shopping every week, that is why. So this is my giant list. Um, I do have salmon on here, and I forgot that I put salmon on here. Maybe I will have a salmon on Friday instead of sausage and beans because that is a meal that I can have anytime. Um, so I may switch out this sausage and beans for salmon. Oh, and make some salmon and rice. Oh, yeah, on Friday. Oh, that might be the move. I'll probably do that if I find fresh salmon at either Aldi or Walmart. Walmart usually has some really awesome salmon. Oh, so as far as budgets, um, so I don't know where I can write it. I can write it on the back. So for Walmart, I should have put this camera on a tripod. We're gonna budget $50 and we're gonna use, that looks like 150 and we're gonna use Fetch, cause I have a gift card. And then Aldi, I wanna keep it around 75. Now this is much more than what I usually spend. My goal weekly is to spend around 40-ish dollars at the grocery store, but because I have staples to get, um, that is why it is so much so usually it will not be this much but because i have a lot of different staples to get i may be able to get more for my money at all these which typically happens um so now i'm gonna just grab my tea i'm gonna put this in my coupon bag and we are gonna head to the store okay okay i'm here at aldi and it's aldi if you're not familiar it is a very inexpensive grocery store i think it's from i don't want to say the wrong i'll put it on the screen if i make it wrong it's either germany it's 
I, I can't. I think it's German. I think it's a German company, but don't quote me on it. I'll put it on the screen. I'll do my quick research. It's very inexpensive. They have a lot of store brands that are mostly organic. Um, they don't give you so many options so that the prices can stay cheaper. One thing I love that's genius about them is that to get a cart, you have to put a quarter in. And then when you put your cart back, you get your quarter back. So it basically promotes you to put the carts back. And they don't have carts all over the parking lot because people want their quarter back. And it just really helps us to think like, I want my quarter back. I leave a quarter um, in my wallet when I know that I'm shopping at all these because I know that you need one. Sometimes you'll see people and they say, oh, you can keep the quarter. They'll make change with you. But that is the grocery store that we're going to. It is a very, very inexpensive option. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with the prices. So if you have one in your city, I highly suggest you go. They don't take coupons unless something's changed i haven't been here in months they don't take coupons so this is just a place to go to get things super cheap there's a walmart across the street so whatever we can't get or don't get here we'll go across the street to walmart again our budget is 75 dollars. i came up with that budget because i literally have not big time grocery shopped in over a month the last grocery haul i did was with target and i used target gift cards so no money out of pocket and i have not been using my grocery budget which my grocery budget is 150 dollars i think this month or 140 dollars so i'm going to use a about $75 of it today um, at Aldi's if not less and then at Walmart we're gonna be using gift cards so let's go one other thing I forgot Aldi's does not provide you with bags so I did I think remember to keep my reusable shopping bags in here I have like uh, I have I have the cold bags so I'm gonna bring those in and I left the rest of my reusable shopping bags at home but it's fine at least i have these two but they don't give you bags that is another thing that keeps their cost though they do give you boxes though um so i'll grab a box and i have a plastic bag but i'll just use these two and then i'll just grab a box to put everything in. all right that's another way that keeps their costs low okay i don't know if you can see the sign but it says insert quarter to unlock cart see right here insert quarter to unlock cart return cart to get quarter bag so literally Put your quarter in, and the cart unlocks for you. Just that simple. Bought my tea. This is my OG. This is my very first Teamy tumbler. So that thing's almost a year old. It's Teamy energy in there. I'm gonna put our two bags under here, so that all my space in the cart is free. And before I go into the store, we are gonna pull out our list, and I'm gonna get a pin. Because I am that person who I need a pen. And you know what? I'm going to just take my clipboard out too. Okay. So I got list. List, clipboard, and pen right here in the front of the car. And let's go on. Okay. Here's their ad so you can see what deals they have. And we're just going to go through aisle by aisle. And we're gonna get what we need, my friend. You know what I should have added that I should, did not check, which I think I have in the house. Look, here's all the fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh my God, is that pink? Oh, that's, I, I was gonna say that pineapple, but it came out mango, so it came out pango. Um, I didn't check to see if I have Caesar dressing because I would love to have a salmon Caesar salad. Okay, so here's broccoli. Look, and we're gonna have a chicken and shrimp alfredo. Oh look, the broccoli crowns, $1.49 for this bag of broccoli. I'm gonna grab that. That's on my list for our Alfredo. Y'all, I really wanna get salmon now. I haven't had salmon in forever. I just don't know if I have Caesar dressing. So, we got broccoli. Let's keep going. Okay, they're hard to remove for $2.19. So, I'm gonna add this one, but I'm not gonna be eating salmon unless I make salmon today and make the Alfredo later. Oh, that could work. Yeah, we'll make salmon today. So here is our romaine, so we'll have a salmon Caesar salad, which is absolutely freaking amazing. Let's keep going. They have like the apples and things. They have all your favorite nuts. Bakery. Look, their bagels are $1.99. Now, I don't, I like cinnamon bagels, but I like just cinnamon. I don't like cinnamon raisin. So um, it's very hard to find them, but you see their brand is just $1.99 which is awesome. They're flatbreads, and then they have more nuts, dry fruit, which I don't need any of that. Um, oh my gosh, they have 99, look, they have 85 cents white bread. So I am gonna get some, because I do need bread. So, 
we're gonna get bread. You see that? 85 cents for bread. That's cheaper than freaking Dollar Tree, my friends. It has October 24th on it. Now it's a little stiffer than I wanna buy, but I found a soft one. My mother said that I have the gift of finding the softest bread. I don't know how I do it, <laughs> but okay, that, that's more of my field. 85 cents for bread, y'all, 85 cents. Oh, and bread was on my list. It should be, even if it's not. I definitely should have had bread on this list. Am I gonna be that person that writes in bread? Just so that I can check it off. <laughs> Whoops. Um, they have all kinds of chips over here. And I'm doing my very best not to impulse buy anything that I don't need. Ooh, they have pumpkin spice cupcakes. I'm not a big pumpkin spice person. Um, there were some pumpkin cookies that I ate before that were really awesome. And then you can see like they have their store brands. Iced oatmeal cookies for 89 cents. They do have the goldfish, $3.98. They have these Lance crackers for 99 cents, okay? Ooh, they do have Slim Jims. Kinsley did, okay, so Kinsley did ask for popcorn as a snack and I promised her that I would get it for her. Um, and I will get this, it's $1.69 for a six pack. Now sometimes you can get the act at um, <clears throat> Dollar Tree, either a four pack or sometimes you get lucky and you get a six pack. But I'm gonna just go ahead and grab this one because I promised the baby that we would watch movies this weekend and eat popcorn and we have no popcorn at home. So I'm gonna grab this $1.69. Okay. Yes, y'all, I will buy this whole entire family pack of salmon. Oh, look, here's one for $17. And yes, I buy it because buying this little thing for $10 just wets my whistle. This is gonna give me like two days of salad. So I'm gonna get this um, fresh salmon and I'm gonna put this bad boy in the oven tonight and I'll show you guys. If you want me to show you, I'll show you how I make it, but I just put like um, cayenne pepper, paprika, regular pepper on it, and it's a bomb. But this is everything that they have that's fresh. Then they have the Italian sausages. And then look at their pork chops, y'all. We got pork chops. We got Beyond Burgers. Like their prices are so cheap. I don't need anything else over there. We are gonna go down the next aisle here, which I don't think we need anything unless I have my favorite pork and beans, which otherwise I'll get them from Walmart. And I'm afraid, I've been scorned to try they have these kind of baked beans, but I've been scorned after trying those ones that me and Kinsley didn't like. Um, I'm not gonna buy any more. Um, they have applesauce, but Kinsley likes uh, strawberry applesauce. I don't see any here, so that'll be something that we get from Walmart. Actually, let me add that to my list because she has been asking for that. So I am gonna add that. And this does happen to me sometimes where I remember things that I did not write down. They do have these muffins. They are $2.49. I am going to buy one and see if Kinsley likes them. I am. I'm gonna buy it and see if she likes this brand. They used to have a different box of fruit snacks that was a little bit cheaper, but a lot more. So I'm just gonna wait and get fruit snacks with coupons. Um, and then they have all these juices, which I haven't tried before. They're $2.89. They have some down here that are $1.89. Splash Berry Blend. The apple juice is $2.29. I can sometimes get apple juice for two uh, for $1.99 or $2. So we're going to skip it there. Oh, these are Fruit Punch. Kinsley might like these. And they are $1.99. And it's 10 pouches. Um, but if I can get Capri Suns or something, then I'll just get that. Aha. But nah. Look at this. 100% apple juice for $1.59. So I'm gonna grab one of these. And is it 64 ounces? Yes. That's perfect. Cause yeah, I'm just gonna grab one. Now, I am kind of bougie when it comes to ketchup. I do like my Heinz ketchup, but they do have this Berman's ketchup, 38 ounces for $1.69. I am gonna say that that is one brand loyalty that I will be sticking to because I don't wanna get a 38 ounce bottle of ketchup and not like it all right so we're gonna stick to our ketchup and we're gonna get that from walmart showing you guys around so you can see what they have to offer so they have their own name brand of diapers and things that you can get they have toilet paper paper towels they have cat litter um i'm gonna get mine from walmart because it looks like this is 14 pounds for four dollars 
So I could get 38 pounds for four, eight, nine, ten dollars, but I get 40 pounds of the Walmart brand for ten dollars. So I'll just stick to that one. But they do have toilet paper and paper towels. Six big rolls of paper towels for $4.49 when we know we can get them for $3.75 at Walgreens. So that's not a better deal. Um, they do have some name brand items over here. Okay, they have storage totes. They have toilet paper. So you will have to do some price comparisons. I definitely wouldn't come here to buy this kind of stuff because, you know, that's stuff we can get for cheap with coupons. Let's just look at their meat. Wow, super cheap chicken thighs. $5 chicken drumsticks. I don't see any chicken wings. Oh yeah, this meat is super cheap, y'all. This is definitely going to be another place to get... Oh, look, here's the chicken wings up here. Chicken wings are $2.29 per pound. So this pack is like $7, and it looks like about 10 chicken wings in there. This is another good hack to get meat cheap. Okay. Hot dogs, ham. I do want some smoked turkey, which I probably will have to get from Walmart to make my kale. Um, what do I need? I need for tacos and American cheese. So I don't know how much the craft singles are at Walmart, but we're gonna check. We're gonna do the Walmart trick. So I'm gonna take out my Walmart app, and I do this at literally every store that has the same price. And I will have to say that I've tried a couple off-brand cheeses and I'm not feeling it, y'all. So this is another thing where my brand loyalty is gonna hurt me. At Walmart, it's $3.97, but I can pay with the gift card or I can pay $3.67 here at Aldi's. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? We're gonna get it here. We're gonna knock that off our list. I know I probably could have got the Happy Farms, but I'm just telling y'all, I got scorned and that cheese was not good. Oh, I should have got an onion. Oh, I got salmon. Okay, we got broccoli. Now, they don't have the packs of cheese, so we're gonna have to get taco cheese from Walmart. Or maybe not. They have shredded cheddar, but I like to get the one that's literally a taco blend. They have like lunch meat already all portioned out. They have all different types of salads. I'm not getting any of that. Okay, so we don't need anything else from this section. Let's go back to the aisles that we didn't go to and then we will get to the freezer section. Ooh, they have five pounds of flour for $1.89. Let's see how much flour is at Walmart. So we're gonna type in flour. And y'all are getting the real uncut version. So great value flour is a dollar ninety-three cent. So it's four cents cheaper over here. So we are going to grab a bag. Okay. I'm so excited to get this salmon. I don't think y'all understand, y'all. I haven't had salmon in forever. Okay, so here's the soups. They have sugar, but I have so much sugar. All kinds of sugar, corn syrup, all your baking needs. And then over here, oh, they have pepperoni. I should not be eating pepperoni, but this is a small, that's a small pack. I'll sit there and I'll eat the whole pack of pepperoni. That's a good snack for me. Uh, oh, they have all these almonds and pecans. They have all the icing and stuff for cookies. They already have Christmas stuff out. Oh, and they have olive oil. Our Funfetti cupcakes. I think I'm, I broke down olive oil, but I'm good on olive oil. I just need cooking oil. So they have one gallon of vegetable oil for $4.89. So let's get our other phone and let's check to see how much vegetable oil is at Walmart. So... So one gallon is five dollars and thirty-two cents, and at all these one gallon is four dollars and eighty-nine cents. So we are gonna grab it here, my friends. And I know I could be paying with a gift card, but I had cash that I'm gonna spend anyway. So why not spend?
cash on the cheapest items that you can all right they have pasta for 79 cents which you know we've been getting free pasta their parmesan cheese is 259 and i what i paid about that they have macaroni and cheese for 49 cents over there do y'all see that boxes of mac and cheese for 49 cents and they have these for 269 kinsley switched up with me and she wanted the velveeta because i guess she had been eating the velveeta with her dad and she's like mommy i want the yellow one i'm like are you trying to be bougie on me so we don't need any bottled water yet but they have a 24 for 229 and i think we paid 399 for like almost 40 bottles at walmart they have sweet tea and then they have all of these things coffee and such so we do need cheese let's see if they oh they do have mexican style that's the taco blend and it's a bigger bag is it 16 ounces 12 ounces for 2.99 price comparison this is an eight ounce for 2.22 this is 12 ounces for 70 cents more. Oh my God, that is rain. It's pouring raining outside. 10 ounces, looks like it is 4.22. Is that it? true? Oh, 16 ounces is 4.22. So I'm just gonna stick to this one. 2.99 for 12 ounces, oh my gosh. Can y'all hear that rain? <gasps> and I didn't bring my umbrella. Ah! Let's check some stuff off the list. So we got veggie oil. We got taco cheese. Oh my goodness, y'all. It is pouring. We got flour. Oh my goodness. Let's get some sour cream. It's $1.49. And until November, which is good because we'll have tacos at least once a week until then because we have a lot of taco stuff. Sour cream was on my list. I like to have sour cream in the house. Um, and then this is their yogurt. You can see their yogurt is literally 32 cents. Um, so this will be yogurts for me um, because Kinsley wants her kid yogurts and I'm not gonna change the ones that I get for her. Um, so I would get these to put in my smoothie as long as they have the ones I like. They have raspberry, I see peach. Um, I don't see strawberry or strawberry bananas so that means we're probably not going to get them yeah we're gonna pass oh you see look the strawberry banana ones are sold out so maybe we'll try them on the next go round um so we'll get our yogurt from walmart look their imperial butter is 84 cents or margarine or whatever it is so i'm gonna grab two boxes of it one for the freezer one for the fridge i think i only have one stick left in the fridge so we're gonna cross that off our list. Oh my goodness, why is it raining? Crossing off butter. Um, don't really drink orange juice too much. And we are gonna get, do they have 2%? They do have 2% milk. We're gonna get a half gallon. Let's check the milk price. Their half gallons are 179 at Walmart. Their half gallons are 149. That is 30 cents difference, so I'm gonna get it here. Uh, so it's a half gallon of 2% milk for $1.49, like, that is killer. Y'all, I'm very happy with these prices. The regular eggs over here, and it looks like they are almost out, but they are 88 cents. And you see they have more back there, so I may have to like, squeeze my hand in because I bet you these are like cracked so let me find a person to see if they can give us some more eggs but they're literally 88 cents a dozen okay so I was able to get 12 large eggs for 88 cents like that is killer so we're gonna check off eggs and milk from our list guys I'm so happy with these prices they have a whole wine section and then over here they have probiotics parmesan cheese thick cut cheese all these fines boneless pork belly okay they have the Pillsbury cookies but I have coupons for those so we'll get those and they go on a different sale quick a meal so they have pizza um they have meals you can make together the pulled pork that looks good 
So what I want is a bag of shrimp because their shrimp are usually cheaper than Walmart and we're gonna have shrimp Alfredo one of these days. Um, so this is everything. They have rockfish, they have frozen salmon. I don't like frozen salmon. But this is the shrimp that I wanna get. Medium cooked shrimp. Let me check against the Walmart because Walmart has crazy shrimp. Like different varieties of shrimp. So let me see. Okay, so we can see for medium shrimp. Great, it won't tell me the price. But it's also 12 ounces. Why won't it tell me the price? Oh, the large is $5.64. So I bet the medium is around that price. The extra large is $5.94. The Kalaka is 10. So I may just take my chance and get the ones here for $5.49. Oh, see, I don't like it with the tail one. I hate that I have to take the tail off. Okay, I'm going to get this medium shrimp. And then what I'll get from Walmart is I'll get the small shrimp from Walmart and we'll keep those for tacos. This is what we're going to use for our Alfredo. And then we'll use the small shrimp for tacos. But sometimes it's hard. We use small taco shells. And to have the big old shrimp and the small little tacos, it doesn't, it doesn't work. All right, so they have 95 cent broccoli. You know what I really want is some frozen green beans. They have one bag of green beans left for 79 cents. So that's cheaper than what I pay at Dollar Tree, which is 99 cents. So I got a bag of green beans for 79 cents. Um, they have... Oh my God, they have rise and crust pizzas for $2.75. We might have to try those, my friends. $2.75 for a rise and crust pizza. It looks very similar to a DiGiorno. Oh, we're gonna have to try these next time um, because DiGiorno I'll be paying like $4 for. Um, all right, they got lasagna and such. And then I don't see what they have these 10 waffles for $1.99, but I'm just gonna get the big box from uh, Walmart. They got the heat and serve sausage links down there. And then the fruit, which is always cheaper at Dollar Tree for sure. Oops. They have ice cream, but I have no room in my freezer for ice cream. Let's look down this middle. And then I think I'm gonna just go over our list and I think we have everything from Aldi's and the rest we would get from Walmart. Enchiladas. Thin crust pizzas, meatball marinara pizza, gyros, french fries. Ooh, they got bacon wrapped shrimp. When I used to work at Joe's Crab Shack, we used to have this shrimp called Southern Stuff Shrimp. I don't know if they still have it. There was bacon wrapped with jalapenos and it was so good. So I can only imagine how good that bacon wrapped shrimp is. Um, all right, so I just wanted to give y'all an overview of what all these has. Okay, I've been roasted chicken wings. Ooh, look at this cheesecake platter. Come through cheesecake. Ew, I'm saying ill, but it's probably good. Pumpkin praline ice cream and pumpkin pie ice cream. Not my cup of tea. So, we got almost everything off the list. I can cross off the green beans. All right, y'all, so this is everything that we're gonna get from Aldi's. We're gonna head to the register and I will let you guys know how it goes when we get out of here okay? okay so i had to walk around to find a box because i needed at least one box and look i missed the whole candy and junk food aisle and they have all this pumpkin stuff look pumpkin spice frosted flakes i am not here for it y'all Ooh, i'm not here for it not here for it not here for it not here for it but they have a bunch of stuff in the aisle but let's head to the register oh perfect all right so their checkout process is so efficient and then they have these long tables for you to like basically bag up your groceries and box up your groceries to head out the store. So I'm going to bag up everything. Let me see if I can set this up and show you guys. And as you saw, my total was legit. Whoops, $52. So can you believe that we got all this stuff for $52? Like, mind blown, y'all. 
know, mine belongs. So, if you have all these in your area, you should be going there. This box, so I'm going to put the soft stuff in here. So, I'm going to put the eggs. I'm going to put my bread and stuff that can't push it. Cheese. And that might be it. And then I have the, the cold bags. These are super insulated. I got these from when I was uh, doing Instacart. I literally did Instacart for like four days. <laughs> but I ordered these bags. I got three of them for $17. So we're going to put some milk. I'm going to put all of our cold stuff in there. And then luckily Walmart is literally just across the street. So it won't be bad at all. It may not close once we put the salmon in, <laughs> but at least we got everything in it. And you guys get the gist of it. So you basically just bag up your groceries and I'll see y'all at Walmart. Okay, I'm in the Walmart parking lot and I was just thinking if I didn't get that $17 salmon, my total at um, all these would have been like $34 or $35 without that salmon. So I was just like, holy crap, I can't believe I only spent $50. Okay, so we're at Walmart, it's raining, I'm in the parking lot, so I'm gonna get my umbrella and we're gonna go. It is 2.15, I need to be walking out of this store by three o'clock to pick up Kinsley. Luckily, we only have a few more items on our list to grab. So let's head on in. These pumpkins are super cute. But let me show you guys what we got in the cart so far. So I have an onion and I grabbed Kinsley, well us, some bananas. So I'm gonna cross off the onion. And let's keep on going. I'm debating on if I want some guacamole or do I want to get, um, or do I want to get pepperoni? And I'm leaning more towards pepperoni. So now let's see if I made a good decision. Because the medium shrimp here are $5.39. Nope, it would have been cheaper here because they were $5.49 over there. So we learned our lesson to get the shrimp from Walmart. I'm going to get a bag of this extra small shrimp though um, for our tacos. And we will remember that shrimp is cheaper at Walmart. Now the extra large ones are not cheaper, but the medium ones are cheaper at Walmart. So we'll get those next time. All right, so we got shrimp. Um, and you see, look, they have the big value packs of salmon, too, as well. Oh, look, they had a 14. Oh, no, that's steel slider. That's not salmon. Their salmon's 20, 25. Okay, yeah, so we got a better deal on salmon over there. Um, okay, we don't need any meats. We got to be strategic because we only have a little bit of time because before we have to get the child. Um, oh, my gosh, these are two for four, but I don't have room in my freezer. Uh, frozen breakfast. We need water. The great value waffles were great, but I can definitely, definitely, that's one of the things I can taste the difference. So let's just check about a bottle for a waffle rebate just before I buy them. But the great value ones are cheaper. Four eighty-eight to three ninety-seven, and they essentially do the same exact thing. Cents back, but it's only at Kroger, not at Walmart. But there is fifty cents back on. The pancake mix. Ooh, I think we're going to get this pancake mix because we do need to add pancake mix. And it works at Walmart. So we're going to get the Krusty's pancake mix because we don't have any pancake mix in the house. But we are going to get the 24 count of the Walmart brand buttermilk waffles. Those lasted us a very long time and Kinsley and I was getting from those. Okay, let's keep going. One thing that I'm brand loyal to. And you know what, friends? You can have things that you're brand loyal to. Just be strategic about buying it like how I'm, I'm buying it with a gift card. You should do the same and while i'm in this aisle because this is a little bit of a stock up on things you need trip um and we do a lot of taco tuesday i'm gonna grab one of my favorite taco sauces um it is the hot sauce because we eat tacos a lot so i have enough to make shrimp tacos turkey tacos and we still have taco kits so yeah that's what we're gonna grab for tacos um, we used to get so many coupons for the Hillshire and now we don't anymore. So I literally pay full price for these, which I know is terrible, but they are the best spicy sausage. Um, in Baltimore, there used to be this store called Murray's and it's out of, it's out of, it went out of business. And when I tell you that they had the absolute best spicy sausage, the little smokies have a rebate and these hillshires they do not have coupons they used to have dollar off two coupons they don't anymore but like i pay full price for them because they are that good 
But again, I'm using a gift card. Kinsley still has a pack of hot dogs. So I'm not gonna buy her any more hot dogs. We're not gonna buy any lunch meat. Look, Arizona for 80 cents. Get it to you for a dollar at Walgreens. Um, I will be making kale at some point. And oh, look, they have smoked. Oh, they have pork. I'll take pork over turkey. But then they have turkey over here. Ooh. I do not have room in my freezer for this, but I'm gonna make room. I'ma grab those pork ones because also Thanksgiving is coming up and I'm gonna grab, look at this giant, giant turkey. Y'all, oh wait, that's $7, let me spend it $7. $4.62, you know what, I'm just gonna get the pork, the smoke pork neck bones. Oh, that's what I'll make. Them kale are gonna be out of this world. That was actually on my list to get though, y'all. But yeah, those Arizonas, y'all see them? 80 cents, so don't, don't buy it, get it at, get it at Walgreens. Another thing that we are low key brand loyal to is the syrup and the pancake mix. There was an Aunt Your Mama coupon, but of course we missed it. I didn't buy it when there was a coupon. So when the coupon rolls around again, I will be sure to buy it again. Why don't I see? They didn't even have the box of crusties. Oh, they have bags of pancake mix. Okay, so we're gonna grab one of these syrups. We're gonna grab this big one for $3.92 because that is how much syrup we use. And when that coupon rolls around again, we'll be definitely doing the deal. But we were so stocked up before, I just didn't need to. So, just so that we have something, my dad probably won't like these. I know my dad likes Aunt Your Mom, but we're gonna get these Hungry Jacks, which are so good for $1.98 just so that we have something for pancakes. Um, oh, they don't even have my favorite cream of wheat anymore. I used to eat that for breakfast. I don't even buy it anymore. I should um, because it is so freaking good and I need to eat breakfast. And I've been so bad about eating breakfast. You know what, I'm gonna treat myself to some. I don't even know if it's a treat. Um, so instead of eating cereal, I can eat it. Um, they're all 348, so what's the difference? Oh, that's instant. This I have to cook in a pot. How I've never had instant ones before. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna try the instant. Cause I sh do believe I can cook it the same. Oh yeah, we're gonna try the instant cream of wheat for mommy to have for breakfast so that I can actually eat something and also been being bad and haven't been eating my smoothies either. And you know what else I really love? Oatmeal, I think I have some in the house. I'm gonna get back to eating oatmeal. We do have coupons for oatmeal though. Definitely I'm gonna get back to that. Here it oh. is. Here it is. They don't have the big one that I want, but I'll get one little thing obey. And then what else did I say we need? Oh, we need to find my beans. My cart. Now we just need strawberry applesauce and yogurt. So let's get to the applesauce and the yogurt. And then what I was saying is I have t-shirts to mail. And I forgot to ask my t-shirt guy to put them in the plastic. So I'm going to have to go in the packaging section and grab like two packaging things. Here. Mott's strawberry applesauce. And I'm going to get a regular out with the regular and we should have plenty of peaches and stuff okay so now let's get the yogurt so they have berry and strawberry they have strawberry and strawberry banana but she's like the strawberry and blueberry one purple berry so I'm gonna get it for her and just pray that she eats it it's strawberry and berry I checked there's no coupon nope. No rebates back. Okay, so there's yogurt for Kinsley. And now I'm just going to grab a bunch for me. It looks like they have a variety, so I'm excited. I'm grabbing this to try it. Oh, my goodness. Looks good. Hopefully, it's good. There's also a strawberry a strawberry cheesecake one. I don't know. I'm going to try this. Hopefully, it's good. It's still going to get more of it. Seriously, almost forgot to get the dang kitty litter. So, this one looks open. I don't want the open one. So, let me... Get the non-open one back here. It's 40 pounds for $10. Okay, maximizers, we got everything that we're getting at Walmart and I'm about to go to the register, but I'm gonna cash out to fetch. And I know a lot of people always ask, how do you do it? How do you do it? So I'm gonna cash out right now. 
I'm running just a few minutes behind. But guess uh, guess what? It's fine because the way that car line be set up, I'll probably get there right on time. So let me show you. If fetch. you are not signed up for Fetch Rewards, click the link in the description box. Sign up for Fetch. Literally, it's one of the easiest apps to use. All you do is scan any of your grocery receipts and you get points back. If you buy any of these items, you get additional points back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Rewards. I'm going to go to 50,000. I'm going to type in walmart and i'm gonna go fifty dollars for walmart you can cash out for as low as five dollars i'm gonna click get my fifty dollar reward are you sure yes text me a code okay so the code came and we're gonna validate and bam so my reward is here now so when I get to the register, I'm just gonna click view gift card and scan it. So let's go to the register. Okay, Maximizers, we are back home from Walmart and Aldi, and this is our haul. So let me just go through everything quickly with you guys. Some lessons I learned shopping at these two different stores, and then I will tell you the totals, okay? So everything on this side is Aldi's, and everything on this side is Walmart. So we got the bread for 88 cents. Um, yeah, the bread was... 89 cents or something like that and then the eggs were 88 cents i saw that the eggs were a penny cheaper at walmart so next time i'll make sure probably get them from walmart or check the walmart price first and it was cheaper at aldi's i'm taking this out of the frame right now because i'm about to turn my oven on and cook this bad boy i'm going to put some cayenne pepper some parsley some tropical saison put it in the oven for about 20 minutes that's going to be our dinner with salad um i got some broccoli because i'm going to make alfredo on Saturday cheaper at Aldi's I got a bag of green beans definitely cheaper the medium cooked shrimp they were actually cheaper at Walmart but I got them from Aldi's the Mexican style cheese for our tacos milk was cheap um, and then I got the two boxes of butter vegetable oil the Kraft singles sour cream apple juice for Kinsley popcorn the hearts of romaine that was everything that I got from Aldi's and my total at Aldi's was actually $52.84. So here's the total. $52.84 for everything at all these. Now my my original budget that I put here was $75 at Aldi's and $50 at Walmart. So a total of $125 is what I wanted to spend. Um, and I actually stayed under budget. So let me show you guys. How much actually did I stay under budget? No, I went like two cents. In the end, you'll see I went a little teeny tiny bit over budget, but it's okay. Like, really, really $3 over budget. Um, but I did grab some things that I did not plan to do, but I knew that I would do that once I got in store and realized some other things that I needed. So, I always account for a little bit of wiggle room. Now, everything else we got from our dear friends at Walmart. So, I got some smoked turkey necks, two packages of hot smoked sausage. I eat these with beans or I eat them with applesauce. Extra small shrimp for tacos. This will get us like two, two Taco Tuesdays because we do chicken and shrimp or we'll do um, chicken shrimp and I'll put turkey or ground pork or whatever. We actually got two boxes of yogurt. Me and Kinsley went to another Walmart and I grabbed another thing of yogurt because I want at least a two week supply. Um, the uh, cat litter I got for the cat, I got that at Walmart. This, oh, this is hot. Grabbed the onion. I got nine Yoplait yogurts, which is an odd number. I should have got eight, but I got nine because I wanted to try out this cookies and cream. So I'm going to eat that and see how good it is. I got eight cans of our favorite pork and beans. It kills me that it's not a pop top because literally when I make them, I make at least two at a time. So this will give us four meals. Please be careful in those socks. Um, Bananas, Kinsley already ate a banana. The applesauce you saw, I got a plain applesauce and I got a strawberry applesauce, that's what she likes. I got my Obey, I got Creamy Caesar. I still didn't check my pantry to see if I had it. A big thing of syrup. I got Queen of Wheat, instant Queen of Wheat, I'm gonna try that. I got the Hungry Jack, Just Add Water pancake mix, and then I got the Buttermilk Waffles. Everything at Walmart came out to a total of $74.20. $74.20. Now, I used a $50 gift card from Fetch. So that left me to pay out of pocket $24.20. Okay? So, overall, I did my math here on my lovely little grocer's pad. And I also went to Dollar Tree, but I'm doing a whole different Dollar Tree video. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up tomorrow on Dollar Tree Thursday. 
But at Walmart, I spent $74.20, and at Aldi's, we spent $52.84 for a grand total of $127.04 for all of this, which I think is absolutely phenomenal um, for everything that we got. This will, a lot of this stuff will last longer, but most of it will be at least a good two-week supply of, like, the, you know, the non-perishables, like the, this I'm going to eat this week. The shrimp and stuff will be used for later, but anyway... Um, I won't have to do another big haul like this probably until I buy stuff for Thanksgiving. But outside of that, I won't have to do another big haul like this for a while. Um, so we paid $127.04, but my cash out of pocket after using the gift card was just $77.04. And remember, I wanted to only spend $75 cash. So I only went over budget by $2.04. So I'm totally okay with that. And I grabbed some things that were unplanned. If I would have just stick to my list, I would have come in way under budget. But again, it's fine. We need some flexibility. I needed like these things to stock up on. Pancake mix, the canned goods, the cat litter. I buy cat litter like once a month. So there's certain things that I just had to stock up on. The butter, the cheese, the flour. So yeah, so that is it. That is everything that we got at this grocery haul. If you like these grocery hauls, put it down below that you like them. Actually, also, also share with me what is your favorite grocery store to shop at? Where do you like to shop? If you're interested in signing up for Fetch Rewards, the link is in the description box. All you do is scan receipts. Um, if you click the link, get referred by me, you get like 2,000 points for signing up, which is equivalent to $2. Um, you can refer as many people as you like as well. Scan your receipts. When you get to $5, you're able to cash out. And there's tons of retailers in there you can cash out to. So if you're looking to get some of your money back in the form of a gift card to pay down your groceries or even get a Sephora gift card or go to the movies, I highly suggest you download Fetch. The link is in the description box. Um, again, I want to thank you guys so much for your love and support. On the next screen, I'm going to put some of my most recent haul videos for you to check those out. That's it, Maximizers. Hope you enjoyed this Aldi and Walmart grocery haul. I know it's a little bit long, but I wanted to be able to really show you the ins and outs of Aldi since I haven't shopped there in forever, and I don't think I've ever shared it on my channel. Please make sure you download Fetch Rewards. It's super simple. Scam receipts, earn points, get gift cards. Link is in the description box. Make sure you're on my email list so you don't miss any of the Krista Maximizer updates. I do have a seven-day live series coming up, and you do not want to miss all the gems I'm dropping there. Um, also, I have a Facebook group, Couponing with Krista Maximizer. Please make sure you join. We're posting hauls and positively supporting each other in our couponing journeys, okay? If you have any questions about the haul, please comment those down below. And of course, let me know your favorite grocery store. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.